Randy here. Uh, we're going to do a segment on the Holly accelerator pump system. There's a uh, there's two different type of pumps used in the accelerator pump system. There's a 50 cc diaphragm which is right here, and there's a 30 cc diaphragm which is right here. You see the difference in the volume, how much fuel fuel they hold, and I'll explain to you why there is the difference and what what they're used for. Now I'm gonna I'm going to pull this carburetor up. This carburetor is ready to run. And I'm going to show you as I accelerate, you watch this cam here. And it lifts this arm right here. It lifts it right here. And you can see it pushing this arm down, which pushes the pump in, which compresses the fuel into these accelerator pump nozzles right here and right here. There's primary and the secondary. There's a secondary pump on this one, just like there is a primary. Now I'm going to set it to the side, and I'm going to bring this over, and this is an older carburetor. I'm going to show you exactly everything about it. All right, this here is a 30cc pump. This is a little standard 600 Holly double pumper, 4150. This is a 30cc pump right here. Here's the spring. The spring is in there to push the diaphragm back. After the arm pushes the diaphragm out, excuse me, after the, after the arm pushes the diaphragm out, the spring pushes it back up, just like that. That's what the spring's, one of the main things for the spring, but absolutely, the spring's in there for two things. It's actually to push the diaphragm back up out and this little check right here is called the accelerator pump check and the fuel is sitting in this bowl in here I've got the carburetor upside down so it's going to be set like this so fuel's going to want to run out of here and the way it works if you look real carefully you can see a hole right under that check valve can they see that yep I got it there's a hole here and there's a hole right back here yep all right, the fuel comes through there as the diaphragm as the diaphragm comes down. It it blocks those two holes, and the fuel has to travel out this hole through the meter block to the carburetor discharge nozzles. So basically, what happens is when it goes down, when we push that diaphragm down with the spring in it, it pushes the fuel out, and then as it comes back up, which this diaphragm is old, let me get the new diaphragm. Okay. Alright, we push it down, squirt fuel, and as it comes back up, it forms a vacuum and it pulls this little check valve off its seat. It actually pulls it back and it sucks the fuel in real quick. And then it's ready for another charge. So then when we push it down again, it's ready to squirrel again. So that's basically how, how that works. Now I want to show you something real quick. Uh, let's see if we can kind of actually show how the carburetor works on the accelerator pump. I'm going to take this apart in a minute, but I want to show you how it actually squirts. Now, well, I guess it would be better for them to see it. No, I won't have to do it this way to do it. I don't know if they can see that. It'd be hard to get a shot through there. Let me see if I can just give my eye here how. Let me more. zoom in a little bit. Now this is going to squirt fuel. Well, it's, it's just not going to work that way. Yeah. Let me just go on through it. All right, let's just go ahead. I was going to try to show you how the accelerator pump squirts, but I can't do it from right here. But I'll show you, after I get the fuel bowl meter block off, I'll show you it actually squirting into the discharge nozzles and being dispersed through the throttle body. Which it needs, carburetors always need the accelerator pump to get that first initial squirt of fuel. Now, here's the bowl, and here's those two holes right there that we just looked at at the away. diaphragm. There's the two holes. All right. Then the fuel, when it's compressed, it comes out right here. And as it comes out there, 
it also goes through this hole through the metering block and then it comes up the metering block and out the center hole right above the power valve and it comes in right here right above the power valve on the meter block and it comes out these discharge holes right here on each side there's one on each side of the on both of them front and back now watch this as I let me get it set up and I'm going to let you see what it looks like when that solar pump's been pushed down let me zoom in here all right all right can they see it oh yeah see the fuel being squirted in both sides that's exactly what happens what this diaphragm does right here. It, it makes that pump put fuel through it and squirts into the inside of the carburetor, which gives it that initial burst of fuel to keep it from stumbling. Now stumbling is a big deal with carburetors. That's a big deal with hollies. And, and it's not that they're bad, it's just sometimes they have to be tuned in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the actual discharge nozzles. This is the accelerator pump discharge nozzle. Let's get it close up. Right. And if you look right here on the front of the discharge housing, it's got a 28. Now that's 28 thousandths. Each one of these holes are 28 thousandths that right. discharge the fuel. If it's a 35, it means it's 35 thousandths. And I'll show you, we're going to drill one of those because those things are kind of expensive. These little Housings they can get expensive and if you got a 28 and you know it's stumbling bad and you got Everything set up right you need to actually drill a hole out or I mean you can get another one You can get another house and buy them, but they're I think they're about ten dollars a piece And we can take this 28 and put it to 35 if we need it and uh, Right up underneath where this sets in the carburetor is a check valve. Okay. I'm gonna dump it out There it is right there let me get a close up. Okay. Yeah. This check valve is tapered on one end. Okay, now what we want is the tapered end pointed down into the hole. What that does is that seals the actual accelerator pump circuit. That weighted check valve seals it so when the fuel squirts up here, and it lifts that check valve up and squirts out this nozzle here. Then when you let off the, the accelerator, the actual check valve seats and stops it from drawing all the fuel back into the bowl again. And you have to have that check valve and it has the seat or it won't be ready for the next accelerator pump squirt. It'll, it'll have a hesitation there, a certain amount of time there with no squirt. Now, we're gonna drill this. I'm gonna show you real quick. This is a 28. Can we get a close up on that 28 so they can see? Yeah, yeah, you can. can. I'll you, do. Uh, do I need to get see. close to you? Let me see if I can just pull it in. That's hard to see. We'll be better off. Yeah, the numbers are the numbers are right there. But they're it's right, right there, there on the front between on the, the front. two shoots. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Right, and they're always usually right there. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna. Just I just got a little pin vise here and I got 35,000 drill bit. This is a 28,000 hole. I'm just gonna apply a little pressure and just keep spinning. And just take my time. Don't go crazy and don't get over anxious. You want to just nice smooth light pressure and just keep spinning. It takes a little bit to get through there. And you can see the drill bit through there. Let me. Oh yeah. Alright. Now we got a 35. Now we just opened it up seven thousandths, which makes a big difference when you got a stumble. A lot of stumbles, you'll go from a 28 to a 32 to a 35, and the stumble will just be gone. It just, I mean, it's just like night and day. Okay, guys, uh, also what I want to mention, there's two different type of accelerator pumps, and there's two different size of accelerator pumps. Each one takes a different arm. Each one takes a different housing. Now here is the general 30cc pump. That's what comes on about 90% of them. This, this is a 30cc silicone pump. 
and this silicone will hold up to alcohol, extremely corrosive materials. It's 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 really good if you're running alcohol, and I would recommend it. I would just recommend trying to get a strong spring to go behind it. Uh, it, it, it takes a little more force to work this diaphragm than it does this old style diaphragm. Now this pump is 30cc, it's just made out of regular old pump material just like they always have been. And it, it holds up actually very well, even it'll hold up at, under alcohol for a while. And uh, if you're running gas, it's the one I prefer because it's so much easier to use. It's just it's just real easy to pump, to make the pump actuate. Now, if you're running alcohol, try to look for that kind of bluish green color diaphragm because that's silicone and it will hold up much better. Now, it also takes a different arm, different spring, shorter spring, and a lot smaller arm. This takes a longer, the 50cc pump takes a longer spring because it's got to set up in there just like that. So it takes a longer spring and you can change these from one, you can put a 50cc pump on anything. Just about any Holly Pulper. Then it takes the bigger arm and you've got to have this arm and it takes a different cam. Let me see if I have a 50cc. Here's, here's a 50cc cam, a brown cam, Holly cam. That's a 50cc cam and it, it'll have to be put on here under this arm right here. Here's the cam originally for the 30cc. Can, can they see that? Show them where it's at? It's right here. Tilt it down a little bit? And it's, one screw holds it in right there. Oh, okay, we got a good shot. And then it's it's got the, the cam fits around the arm. This, you can see the difference in size. There's a screw. It actually goes just like this. And it'll, it'll screw in there. Oh. So we we have to change the cam to put a 50cc pump. We've got to change the arm. The arm is right here. It's just one clip. It slides on there, just like so, swings out. And you see the difference in the length of them. So you, you can't you can't make it work without the right equipment. It's got to have the 50cc pump, has to have the 50cc arm, has to have the different cam, and then you've got a ton of volume. If you're running alcohol and you're running 50,000, 60,000 worth of, uh, of accelerator pump shot here, the accelerator pump holes are, are maybe twice, three times as big as they are on gas because it takes a lot of alcohol to make one run. And uh, again, we also have the diaphragm. If we're going to run gas, we, we can use the old regular 50cc pump. If we're going to run alcohol, it would be better off to run the silicone diaphragm. And here's the housing. It's quite a bit bigger. This sets down in it like so. The spring, the small end, goes towards the diaphragm. And then all it does is it just works up and down. Okay, that uh that that takes care of a lot of things. If you can understand how the 30cc stuff is all together here and the 50cc stuff is all together here and and just remember all this has to be changed together to make it work you got you can't short change it's got to be on there to make the 50 cc di uh, pump diaphragm work most of the time i don't use nothing but 30 cc's i mean probably 90 80 80 85 percent of my carvers they'll they'll stay with 30 cc pumps but remember guys this is super important here you can change the cams here, these little cams that we just spoke about, these here, and you can make them more aggressive on the arm here. They'll, they'll actually get more aggressive, less aggressive. And that helps to a certain point and it keeps it, it's more aggressive and it makes it, some of them make a longer pump shot. As the arm goes, opens up, some of the pump cams will stop right there, some of them will go almost all the way through the whole throttle travel and it, it'll make it pump the whole way 